Adam Christ from MMANews.com being joined by Ben Coyle, who will be making his pro debut at CFFC 86, October 29th at the 2300 Arena. First and foremost, i got to thank my guest, Ben. What's going on, brother? Another time on film. How are you? Chilling out. How, do you, how you doing, bro? I'm doing good, man. So uh, your pro debut, uh, you have went from a successful amateur career. Obviously, the Cowboy Fight Series belt right behind us. How does it feel getting back to work? Because it's been quite a while, December 2019. Feels good, man. It's been a year. I've never had a year off from fighting at all, and it's an uncurable itch, that's for sure. I'm excited to get back. We've tried to, we've tried to get this fight to happen since, since May. Mm -hmm. We've been trying to get this fight to happen, so I'm just excited to uh, go out there and hand out an ass whooping, man. So, you've said you've tried to get this bu this bout together before. What happened previously with this bout? Well, it was scheduled for May, and then we had coronavirus hit, right. and that scrapped. And then it was scheduled again, and Pumi apparently had to go help help train with fighters for Fight Island. It was this, it was that, it was seemed like excuse after excuse, but he dropped out our last one and now he's back to fight again and he says he's locked in this time and we'll see, man. So Pumi Nakuda, a uh, Bellator veteran, well, his only bout professional was in Bellator, yeah. undefeated through his amateur career, obviously undefeated now. How do you feel about him as an opponent? I feel like he's never been tested. Really? Yeah, I feel like his chin's never been tested. I feel like he's fought subpar fighters. He's a good fighter. He's a good scrambler. He's fast starter. But it's easy to be those things when the competition wasn't at your level. And it's kind of easy to talk shit and think you're hot shit when you've been beating people that aren't at your level. So I'm going to be his first test, and uh, we'll see how he deals with it. I, I don't think he's going to fare very well. Even with the Sarah Longo team behind him, the big name, the big academy... Comes from a good team, man. Comes yeah. from a, I can't take that away from him. I can't. Like I said, he's a fast starter. He comes to fight. He is confident in himself. But at the end of the day, like I said, if you haven't been tested, you've never been cracked. He loves to go on social media and boast about how no takedowns been landed, no MMA techniques been landed on him, this and that, and that he doesn't have a loss and the competition's too slow. So we'll see, man. It'll be the first time he's had somebody get in his face and show him what's up. So it'll be a year for both of you uh, since you guys have both gotten into the cage. How do you think that's going to fare for both of you? I mean, obviously you can say ring rust might be a factor, but you can also say that you've learned, you've been able to gain techniques that you've been able to just capitalize on through the quarantine. So since it has been a year and we have gone through the pandemic, what silver lining have you gotten through that? Hey man, just patience. I've been patient over, over all this. I've been... Uh... Like I said, I've been chomping at the bit to fight, and I've been patient, been getting better, and I expect the same out of him, man. I uh, Who knows? He was a little, one of his excuses was that he was a little flustered because he didn't get enough time to train, even though he had been training this whole time in Vegas. So, I don't know. Like I said, he comes from a good gym. I don't see what there's to be flustered about. I mean, you have everything to win here. You're taking on, technically, on paper, another subpar fighter. I'm an oh no, you're a one and oh. So, I don't know, man. You have everything to gain here. Don't be scared. Do you have any ill will towards the fact that you think that he made up excuses to get out of the first fight? Whether they're a valid excuse or not, I got a chip on my shoulder. I want to I want to hand out an ass whoop, and I had time wasted. I had time put into this, and he pulled out fairly close to the date, and he rubbed me wrong, man. I, uh, I'm looking to fuck him up. So... Getting into your fight background, we've all we've talked before. This has been a long journey for us. We've talked in the stellar days when you were stellar champion, on the Cowboy Fight Series, and now your pro debut. So obviously, I've gotten a chance to know you throughout the years in your house. Now interviewing you, what do you have over him? Considering he is the professional, he's been under the bright lights of Bellator. That you have a chip on your shoulder. That you think you can walk through this guy. I didn't say it was going to be a walkthrough. Never said it was going to be a walk in the park. But I do have a chip on my shoulder because I want to. Like I said, I don't like getting my time wasted. I want to finish him. And you know what? He's cocky. He needs a loss. That's what I have over him. I have a loss, but that's not something to, that's not what I'm bragging about, but I have adversity on my shoulders. Mm -hmm. I've taken, I've walked through adversity. I've gotten cracked. I've been dropped. And I got back up and I'm still there to fight against dudes bigger than me. I'm, I'm always in there to fight, man. And so he's going to have three rounds in there with me possibly of fucking war. And I hope he's, I hope he's ready for that. You have to prepare for that. If you've never had adversity and you never have somebody get in your face and crack you and smile at you and get cracked and smile right back, it's just, it's a different vibe, man. 
It's different when somebody like that is in your face. It's a, it's different when you get tagged for the first time too, especially under the bright lights, whether he's been under them before or not, he's never been tagged under the bright lights. Mm. He's never had anybody that's been able to stop his shots under the bright lights. So once that starts happening, he starts diving for shots and he starts getting desperate, what is he gonna do? Once I tag him in his fucking mouth, what is he gonna do? So that's what, that's what I'm curious about. I'm not saying he's a walkthrough, saying it's gonna be a good fight. It'll be a tough fight, but I, I see myself coming out on top, man. What are you anticipating from? He's gonna try to wrestle fuck me. Really? Yeah. He's gonna, he's gonna stand and strike a little bit, but I think we both, I have a 100% finishing rate on the feet. I have a 100% finishing rate, period, in all my fights. I finish fights. Mm. I'm not a decisionator, and most of his he has what two finishes that I know I know of I think, yeah. and they are positional TKOs. They aren't. Nobody went to sleep. Nobody was getting mauled. They were positional. A ref had to stop it. So that being said, they're good wins, but were they wins that were at your level? I don't think so. So this bout's coming up a couple weeks. How do you think it goes down from the f- opening bell? to where obviously you're not going in there to lose. How do you think you win this bout? Hey man, my footwork's gonna chill him up. That lateral movement's gonna chill him up. And when he's diving for shots and when he's trying to blitz in and land these hard shots and I'm not there, it's gonna get a little tiresome and then I'm gonna drag you to the deep waters. And then I'm gonna take you into the second round. That's when hard shots are gonna start landing and it's not gonna be easy to take me down, man. I hope you're ready for fucking war. You have to prepare for war when it comes to me. So be prepared. No, I'm coming to fight. No, I'm coming to fuck you up. Ben Coyle, ladies and gentlemen. Ben, I appreciate you taking the time. As always, man, we've been there, like I said, for a long time. Stellar days, yeah, from the beginning. Uh, Cowboy Fight Series and now your professional debut. So I'm really intrigued to see it. You against Pumi Nakuda is going to be an amazing fight. And I can't wait for it to go down at the 2300 at CFFC 86 on October 29th. Make sure you're there. And for Ben Coyle, I'm Adam Christ. Make sure you keep it locked to MyMMANews.com for all your fight news needs.